Hi there! In this lecture, we are going to unleash the real power of NumPython. First, we will learn how to transform an array to other shapes. Then, we introduce how to stack two or more arrays together into one large array. Then, we talk about splitting an array into two or more arrays. After this lecture, you will become an array magician. Can't wait? Let's go! Here, we use the two-dimension array as an example. It measures four rows and seven columns. To see this, use the method we introduced in the first lecture. A dot shape. The first transformation here is to transpose the array. If you have touched linear algebra or have used some metrics, you will immediately identify this operation. Essentially, a transpose operation will make the rows become the columns, and the columns become the rows. In NumPython, the transpose is an attribute instead of a function of the NumPython library. So we call it by a dot t. No parentheses needed. The second transformation is called Ravel. It's a function, so you would use it like a dot Ravel followed by a pair of parentheses. What it does is it crushes all the dimensions and reforms the elements into a one dimension array. This is particularly useful when you want to iterate through a high dimension array. Follow up is the reshape function. We have met this guy since the very beginning of this course. You can use it to conveniently change the shape of the array. But bear in mind, no matter what shape are you changing into, the product of the dimensions has to be exactly the same as the total number of elements in the array. For example, we are going to change array A to a 3 dimension array. It measures 2 by 2 by 7. This will work because 2 times 2 times 7 gives 28. If I change 7 to 6, the product is no longer 28. This will give you an error saying that the total size of new array must be unchanged. Please keep this in mind. Next, we talk about stacking two arrays together. There are two ways of gluing them together. You can do it vertically or horizontally. Here I have two two-dimension arrays, array A and array B. To stack them vertically, you call the vStack function. np dot vStack. Obviously, vStack is a short for vertical stack. Then you pass A and B together as a tuple to it. Please notice that the order of the arrays matters. The function will stack the array from top to bottom. If you do A then B, B will show up on the downside of A. If you do B followed by A, A will be on the downside of B. Execute this and you can see a new array consists of both A and B is created. To do this horizontally, all you have to change is the V to H, indicating a horizontal stack. The parameter is exactly the same. The function will stack your array from left to right. Easy stuff, right? Lastly, there are also ways of splitting one big array into several smaller ones. The function for this is hSplit and vSplit. Let's split the arrays we just glued together, shall we? First, we separate it horizontally. mp dot hSplit. And you give the array h at the first parameter followed by the number of fractions you want to split into. Here we put 2, run this, and we have two arrays. Now we are going to do this vertically, np dot vSplit, with array v as the parameter and into two parts. 
run this, and you will have the result. That's all for this lecture. Thank you, and I will see you in the next lecture.